Howard Benson Vocals is an all-new vocal mixing plugin created by Joey Sturgis Tones in collaboration with multi-platinum selling producer Howard Benson. With Howard Benson Vocals, an all-in-one vocal mixing solution is finally available for musicians, producers, and engineers looking to get a professional chart-topping vocal mix. Howard's vocal productions can be heard on songs from artists ranging from My Chemical Romance at Three Days Grace to Kelly Clarkson and Rascal Flatts. Regardless of your primary genre, this plugin has been custom tailored to get you the vocal mix you've come to expect from the pros. Under the hood of Howard Benson Vocals are a series of seven powerful modules fine-tuned to fit perfectly together as your new vocal mixing chain. Presets are accessible from the menu at the top of the plugin, where you can access preferred settings from industry professionals, load up favorites from the JST community, or store your own. Presets are great for discovering the starting point for your vocal mix, or simply getting a cool vocal mix in seconds. All presets can be tweaked to fit your vocal performance and your mix with the controls on the plugin's interface. Start your vocal mix from a sweet spot with a powerhouse compressor that's geared for great vocals. Using the plugin's input gain, you can set your own preferred level or allow the plugin to set the optimal level for you automatically by holding down the shift key and double clicking on the input knob. To the right of the knob, users can enable tube warmth for some added analog harmonics and saturation. Using the comp knob below, you can determine exactly how much compression and gain reduction should be applied to your vocal. The gain knob can be utilized to manually make up for any lost volume as a result of the compression, or you can make up any lost level automatically with the auto makeup gain switch. Finish off your compression with a bit of grit, adding odd ordered harmonics to your signal for a fuller, grittier tone. Moving on to the second module, the EQ was made to help sculpt your vocal into the right space for your song. With three distinct ranges, you're able to control the frequency and gain of your high, mid, and low bands across the frequency spectrum. On the high and low frequency bands, users work with a shelving EQ by default, which can be changed to a prefixed bell curve using the center button. Take maximum control of your mid frequencies with a Q knob designed to make picking the perfect amount of mid boost or mid cut easy to find. Users can set specific frequencies or amounts of gain on any band by double-clicking the knob, which allows you to manually type in any value that you desire. At the bottom of the EQ module, users have the ability to set the position of where the EQ appears in the signal processing chain of the plugin. By default, the EQ is placed just after the compressor. By using the pre-comp switch, you can change the position of the EQ module to come before the compressor. There are also options to roll off the low end with the high pass filter switch or to apply a lo-fi telephone style effect with the switch labeled lo-fi. Sometimes the best thing you can add to your vocal mix is a double. With the multiplier module, you're able to do that on the fly. Set the amount of doubled vocal you want to add to your mix with the amount knob and determine how much that double can drift from your source with the offset knob. A minimal offset amount will result in a tightly tracked vocal double, while a maximum offset will increase the distance of the additional voices in time and pitch away from the source for a diverse set of added vocal layers. In the center of the plugin are your width controls, which are designed to help you maintain a broad and full vocal across the stereo spectrum, even when starting from a mono source. Set the range of frequencies you'd like to widen with the top knob, then increase your mono-compatible stereo spread with the width knob below. For voices with a lot of depth, anchoring them to the center of the mix, Howard Benson Vocals offers a mono low-end switch to leave those frequencies unaffected and exactly where you want them, in the center only. The first of two time-based effects in the plugin is the Echo module, which has been meticulously developed for professional vocal applications. Using the amount knob, you are able to push your vocal delays from just a hint of echo to lush looping delays. The mode switch allows you to toggle between mono and stereo echoes, with the speed knob determining how quickly they occur. A low setting results in a shorter delay time, while a higher setting gives you a longer delay. By default, the speed knob is notched to specific tempo synced rates, but by turning off the synchronizer with the switch below, you are able to set your delays in milliseconds instead. The lo-fi switch applies a lo-fi filtered effect to only your delayed echoes. The second time-based effect is the space module, a vocal-centric reverb unit with a huge variety of tones in a compact size. Setting the size knob between 0% and 30% gives you a small room effect. A setting of 30% to 50% will give you a medium to large space. 50% to 80% will create larger concert hall sounds, followed by a setting of 80% or more for arena-style reverb. From there, it's just a matter of setting the amount you want to hear in your output. 50% on the amount knob is an even 50-50 split between wet and dry signals. 
The final stage of Howard Benson Vocals is the output module, which is far more feature rich than a standard output game. You can actively move the output circuit before the time based effects using the pre effects switch, effectively changing the signal feeding into the echo and space modules. The output module also includes a limiter circuit to maximize the levels leaving the plugin. Use the gain knob to match the sweet spot and optimize your fully processed signal. At the bottom of the output module, users can access the About screen by clicking on the HP logo. The information on this screen can be helpful for troubleshooting technical support issues and includes a link to the plugins manual for quick reference. Below that button is a simple way to disable or enable the entire channel strip with an on-off switch. Individual modules may also be turned on and off at any time using the toggle switches at the top of each module. We hope this video will help you on your journey to craft great sounding vocals across all genres and styles. For more inspiration, be sure to join the JST community on Facebook and get access to exclusive content as a JST VIP member by visiting joeysturgistones.vip. Before you go, check out these other great audio tools from Joey Sturgis Tones. And for all things JST, visit joeysturgistones.com.